All right, welcome back to the Central Valley Buzz. Can I hear it for Omeri Rising? Omri? Is it Omri? Omri! 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 Omri Rising. Now, that was the first band in our metal throwdown. So here's the deal. Later on in the show, we have Amarato over here. They're going to play, and we're going to see the winner is going to get some tickets to go to the ice rink and play around in the ice. So... If you guys want to go to the ice rink, uh, stick around because Thursday night is Chuck Leonard down, night down there. We're doing reggae with the green machine. Those guys rock it, right? So uh, our next guest, you might have seen him on local television doing some extremely ridiculous things. Let's bring in Crazy Bernie. All right. Or should I say Crazy Bernie's head? How's it going, Crazy Bernie's head? Just fine. Thanks for having me. Apparently, that's all we could afford. Yeah. Was the head. Yeah, well, you got to work on that. So how, now, how's the furniture business? Furniture business is a great business to be in. If you're just, uh, if you have a whole body to go with the head, you, you can do okay. How long have you been in the furniture business, Crazy Bernie? Uh, all of my life. You were born into it? Almost. Fifteen years old, I made my first piece of furniture. Oh, you say you used to make furniture yourself? For many years, until the last 11, yes. Do you make your own furniture? You don't make your own furniture now? No, no. no. Because you have a lot of stores. Yes, I'm, yeah, one big one. <laughs> Do you only have one store? One store. You used to have two, now one. Right here in Fresno, right? Right here in Fresno. Now, how did you get the name Crazy Bernie? Well, it all, it all started in eighth grade when uh, I said the wrong thing to uh, uh, Arlette Raybender. Arlette Raybender? Yeah. Is that a girl in your class? It was. And mm -hmm. what did you say to her? Uh, I can't remember, so it was a... Uh... Oh, you can't remember or you can't say it? No, it... I can't say it. I you told me, you told me there's no bad words. I, I understand. Now, who's this you brought with you today, Crazy Bernie? This is who uh, gives me all of my ideas. He's the, he's, the, uh, he's the brains behind the operation. And what's his name? Buster. Buster. He has this, uh, wa uh, a brain the size of a walnut. And, so, and he runs the whole business. Runs the business. Awesome. He made a transfer just before I came here in the bank. Now, you've done some pretty crazy things on television also, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Like what? Just about anything, I guess, because, uh, you know, there's 126 furniture stores in Fresno. That's twice as many per capita as any other city in this country. Really? Nobody Why knows. is there so many in Fresno? Because everybody who uh, uh, gets a catalog from a, a manufacturer thinks they can be in the furniture business. And then everybody who's, uh, who's in the furniture business up in uh, uh, the Bay Area or L.A. thinks that uh, Fresno is this big untapped market that they need to open. And uh, it's not. So everybody's going, everybody needs to find their own way in this business. So you're not originally from Fresno, are you? No, I'm not. Where are you from? Bloomfield, New Jersey, exit 150 on the Garden State Parkway. <laughs> <laughs> I, went to, I don't uh, even know what that means. I went to... Okay. Uh, well, that's what everybody asks when they say, what part of Jersey are you from? They say, what exit, right? So I went to a high school with Joe Pesci's uh, brother, Gene. We graduated together. So you, you hung out? Yeah, I hung out with a bunch of people. So, people like Joe Piscopo and you know, guys like that. Did you, now, how did, you, how did you end up in Fresno? You know, they had this thing called the Witness Protection Plan. Yeah. <laughs> what a great thing to do when you're on the witness protection plan is yeah. put, put yourself all over, over all over yeah. television. Well, they gave me two choices. They gave me Bakersfield or Fresno, and I couldn't really pronounce Bakersfield, so I went with the easy <laughs> one. No. As soon as I could afford my own plane ticket, I flew out. For $99, I flew one way in September of 79, and I flew right uh, to San Francisco. My brother picked me up in the, uh, the city and brought me down here, and I've been here since. Have you, have you been in the... The uh, furniture business ever since you hit Fresno? Yeah, almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We started making bookcases in a two-car garage in uh, Fig Garden Village right at Palm and Griffith right here. Uh huh. And uh, we, we grew the business over 17 years, had 250 employees when I sold it for millions of dollars. I could have stayed out. I was retired. I was set for the rest of my life. Had a house on the beach in Southern California. It was a wonderful life. Sold it like an imbecile just before the property value shot up. Came back to Fresno. I was only 37 years old. I was so bored. I couldn't check the sprinklers anymore. I said, I got to get back in, baby. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. wow. That's a quite a story. Yeah. I gave you the abbreviated version. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Now, uh, <laughs> the crazy things that you've done on TV. All one take, and I just come up with them when I drive. I drive the big truck every week, 
Tomorrow I'm driving down to Ontario. Every week I drive my big rig down there. I get all the deals myself. I make the deals right in person. Re you purchase yeah. everything right yourself. Right off the docks, I get these orphan containers, containers that came over from uh, China. Halfway you got, over. Uh, wait, wait, wait. You got orphan containers from China? Orphan containers from China. It sounds like people trafficking, but it isn't. <laughs> what it is is the container was meant to go to a first certain furniture store, and in the 14 days on the water, they go out of business. Now they need a new buyer. Guess who buys it at half price? This guy. So you're, you're buying it yourself. Is that to keep the cost down so Absolutely. you sell it Absolutely. I don't have to pay any freight. All I do is put diesel fuel, go, stay in the motel with the dog like a homeless guy, and then come back to Fresno <laughs> a couple of days later. Now, uh, you're still out on Shaw Avenue? Yeah, West Shaw. We're, near Brawley in Fresno. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fresno. <laughs> now, uh, do you have anything big sales going on for the holiday season? You know, right now I've got my whole warehouse opened up, okay? It's a giant, it's a building almost the size of a Costco out there, okay? Mm -hmm. And you can go go through this beautiful showroom with everything all, with heating and, you know, all the uh, uh, nice things. And then you can go through this one door, through the tunnel, and you go into this giant warehouse. And I've got all this furniture laid out and the whole, all these aisles Hundreds of things, sofas from ninety nine dollars. So, a, a brand new sofa from for ninety nine dollars. Yeah, yeah. Right. Don't ask me what I paid for. Probably fifty, but I'm selling it to you for <laughs> ninety nine bucks. Okay. Right. I've got I've got power recliners that were meant to go to this big store in RC uh, called RC Willie in Utah. The Chinese factory put the number on the box off by one digit. RC Willie refused the container. Guess who gets the container? This guy. So, what would RC Willie sign it, sell it for? Well, they, they're for five hundred bucks. And what do you sell them? Two forty nine. Half power, price. Power recliners. Go, so, power it, recliner does what now? It, you sit in it, or your old man, your father, just before he kicks the bucket, would sit in it. And it <laughs> he pushes a button, and he can recline any position instead of the old, you know, the old, yeah? you know, three position deal. This is one million positions. Okay. Okay. You can get your choice of chocolate or sage, which is kind of a green color, and. Uh, it's unbelievable. Two forty nine. Everybody walking through the door should be buying one of those. Is that the one that helps you get up too? No, no. you don't need that yet. But there's this other thing I have. I got to tell you. I got to tell you this one thing that everybody should, walking through the door should get. I've got a Tempur-Pedic type mattress. It's not Tempur-Pedic brand. It's this thick with with uh, temperature neutral memory foam. Sells for thousands of dollars at other stores. I've got this thing, Cal King only. I got sixty of them. Three ninety nine each. What? I sleep on it in two different places. Okay, at home and I got another place. That's all I'll ever sleep on. And I've got these things. I got sixty of them left. Tell them what the difference is between the and that and a, and a regular mattress. Well, a regular mattress has got the old coils, you know, that uh, they're inside, and some people still like them. We sell a lot of coil mattresses. Some people hate the uh, memory foam because you kind of sink in. Like I almost call it wet cement. But right. that's like a bad way of saying it, so they don't let me out on the floor. <laughs> it's like laying in wet cement. You don't do any flipping. You sleep eight hours one way. You're not flipping around like a guppy all night long, right? So that's really the way to go. I sleep on them. I think it's great. So a cow king for $399. It weighs like 240 pounds, this mattress. Okay? It's a joke. Wow. It's a... It's a joke. It's a gift from Santa Claus early. Just come in and put your $400 on the counter or your Visa card and get one and take it home because it's not going to last. And you guys deliver? We deliver them too, but I'm going to charge you a little for that. Okay, but, and is there a delivery area? Yeah, I go anywhere in the, in the state. Perfect. All right. Yeah. So what, anything else going on for Christmas? No, not really. Yeah? How about you? Well, you know, I'm just going to be hanging out with the family. Well... Any, any big things going on New Year's? Because I know New Year's is a big uh, furniture sales time. Yes, yeah, the day we're closed, New Year's Day. But, uh, yeah. Uh, no, New Year's Eve is a, is a big day for getting ready for the next day. Yeah? Yeah. I'm, I'm always part of that. All right. Mm -hmm. Crazy Bernie, thanks for coming by, man. I'd shake your hand if you had one. Well, <laughs> thanks for having me. I hope everybody has a great Christmas. All right. Now, Crazy Bernie's is right down on Shaw at... Crazy Bernie, close that overstock at Clarence King. West Shaw near Brawley in Fresno. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Crazy Bernie, everybody.